I'm Oyem Yem, the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem, the podcast. The podcast. We put Kufur and Shirk on blast. Hey. I'm Oyem Yem, the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem, the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem, the podcast. The podcast. We put Kufur and Shirk on blast. Hey. I'm Oyem Yem, the podcast. The podcast. Peep this, your grave, you may be near it. Life's short, yeah, that part, so take it serious. Think twice, that afterlife should have you curious. Each week, that weak speech should have you furious. The same old same, all hell, king such and such. You say hell, I say hell, get off his much to be desired. Chutzpah should be fire, let's rouse the believers. Situation's dire. I'm Oyem Yem, the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem, the podcast. The podcast. Put Cooper and Shirk on blast. Hey. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. We put Pitna and Dool on blast. Hey. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. You claim Salafia, we follow the Salaf in understanding, but without the branding of law. Name us Muslim with that, we stay content. No division is titles, egos a false idol. A mustard seed of Kibba can land you in the fire. Plus that his beer is fueled by desires. Question, aren't y'all tired of dividing slaughter? May Allah grant us guidance. Shout out to the martyrs. I'm Yum the podcast. The podcast. I'm Yum the podcast. The podcast. Put Cooper and Shirk on blast. Hey. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. We put Pitna and Dool on blast. Hey. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. We put Cooper and Shirk on blast. Hey. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. We put Cooper and Shirk on blast. Hey. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. Peep this, your grave, you may be near it. Life's short, yeah, that part, so take it serious. Think twice, that afterlife should have you curious. Each week, that weak speech should have you furious. The same old same, all hell, king such and such. You say hell, I say hell, get off his much to be desired. Chutzpah should be fire, let's rouse the believers. Situation's dire. I'm Oyem Yem, the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem, the podcast. The podcast. Put Cooper and Shirk on blast. Hey. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. We put Pitna and Dool on blast. Hey. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. You claim Salafia, we follow the Salaf in understanding, but without the branding of law. Name us Muslim with that, we stay content. No division is titles, egos a false idol. A mustard seed of Kibba can land you in the fire. Plus that his beer is fueled by desires. Question, aren't y'all tired of dividing slaughter? May Allah grant us guidance. Shout out to the martyrs. I'm Yum the podcast. The podcast. I'm Yum the podcast. The podcast. We put Cooper and Shirk on blast. Hey. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. We put Pitna and Dool on blast. Hey. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. We put Cooper and Shirk on blast. Hey. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. We put Cooper and Shirk on blast. Hey. I'm Oyem Yem the podcast. The podcast. Peep this, your grave, you may be near it. 
Life's short, yeah, that part. So take it serious. Think twice that after life should have you curious. Each week. Oh, 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 oh. We're like. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome to Amu Yum Yum, the podcast where we seek to cure the kufr infected by injecting the Islamic perspective. I am your host, Amu Yum Yum. And with us, as always, the Amu you love to hate, Amu Yusuf. Indeed. Indeed. Before we continue, Disclaimer. Oh, man. Disclaimer. Got a disclaim. Okay. The opinion of Amu Yam Yam, the podcast, is based on Islam. Yeah. I have to read this because most of you don't have to read. Our intentions are oh. <laughs> to be correct. However, we may not always be right. Others may differ in concept. But, but these, these are, are ours. ours. Yes. That ours. means we make mistakes. We can make a mistake. We can make a mistake. Yes, a mistake. Yes, yes, yes. All right, man. That's good. Like female cows. What do you give from a female cow? Miss steak. Yes. Like miss. Yeah, miss steak. Yeah, nice. You get miss. That's, that's very nice. Eh? Yeah. Bars. Oh, bars shit. all day. Yeah. All day. Snack bars. Random. Random. Yes. Okay, so uh, update. What's I the random? I mentioned how the uh, the uh, code the code enforcer bullies. The bullies? The oh, bullies. This part two? The bullies, yeah. Wow. Part man, three, the, three, part three. Oh, this part three? Yeah. They got you, man. So, they, so, so, they, so, they're like making your life so, horrible. So the now. code enforcer bullies didn't know anything about code or building or anything. So, so we got into that uh, disagreement, scuffle, whatever, verbal scuffle. Was, was, was the same same police bullies or different? Female, yeah. Same, same one. Same ones. Yeah. So, hey, maybe so, she likes you, man. So the second time, hey. So the second you time, know, that's something they do that. I, I, I like it. I like it. I like <laughs> was it. she white? Yes. There you go. Okay. There we she go. She probably likes it. There you. we go. So. Uh, the second time, second incident, is when I pulled up to the job and I tried to back in like I always do and the police was sitting there talking and uh-huh. it came around like real fast, real fast. Hard, hard U-turn and then like parked behind me so I couldn't back up. They know what I'm, they know, they know I back up, mm-hmm. you know, they, they, they know, they know about too many times, right? Mm-hmm. So they do that. I, I, I pull over, I park, they went, they went past me, so I backed into the, you know, like nothing, right? So anyway, third incident, some oak trees were cut. And oak trees, uh, there, there's a bacteria or some type of uh, parasite that, it, that if you cut. Now, this, this neighborhood is known for their oak trees. So mm-hmm. almost I, almost every every yard, every house has an oak tree in it. Mm-hmm. Yard. These, these are protected, uh, uh, what, do you, what do you call that? They are... Uh, City protected? Yeah, it protected, but but, but they are... Uh, I forgot the word. I'm losing my words. Anyway, so so uh, there's a rule, you know, like almost endangered, like, you know, so there's a rule that if you cut them, first you have to pull a permit, which they just want money. Pull a permit, uh, you tell them exactly what you're going to cut, this and that, and then you have to paint the tips with a latex <clears throat> paint. Mm-hmm. They don't specify what color. You can paint them, you know, LBGT, whatever you want to, you know what I'm saying? So all kinds of color. Yes, yeah, so all kinds of colors. So there's no, no usually, usually you see the tips of trees painted black, but that's not a rule. Mm-hmm. The, any color, any color would do, as long as it's latex paint, because that keeps the parasite from eating the tree. And what it, the parasite does, it goes through the through the tree, through the the cut part, mm-hmm. and it goes down into the water cha- channels that, that feed the tree water. Wow, you know, Subhanallah. so that's how it destroys the tree. Subhanallah. So we cut this tree. I don't know it's an oak, first of all. I'm, I'm just trying to do landscaping. I'm trying to, you know, cut the grass and stuff like that. So we don't know it's an oak. It happened to be an oak, protected oak. Uh, and we painted the trees, but I painted the tips of the trees brown. Right? I painted the tips of it brown because uh, I didn't want it to, it, it to stick out. I didn't want to paint them white or pink or whatever, make them stick out. So anyway, so so she she tells, she tells calls the owner. She says, this is the second warning about the tree. Y'all didn't paint it. You told me you painted. I came by to look at it. I painted. So I said, so I, so I told him. I said, oh, she, she's an idiot. You know. I, I said, uh, he said, he said, yeah, but she has the authority, so be be cool. I, said, I understand. So I said, so I, she came. She came by. You know, I got off the roof, and uh, she came by and she said, so you did paint them? I said, yeah, I painted them brown. I said, you see. Like that. And she said, well, I usually see I'm painting black. I said, I know, but I asked the lawyer, because they, they have to meet with their lawyer. I, mean, I said, I asked the lawyer, is there any specific color? 
no, just only gotta be latex paint. So I painted it brown so it don't become an eyesore, like it sticks out, people, it catches people's eye. Mm -hmm. Looks like nothing, right? She said, I, I said, I know you probably passed by. I said, they ain't even paint, and kept going. She said, she hit me with, she hit me with the paper. Ooh. Ooh, I told you, man. I told you, man. She likes it. She hit me with the paper. She said, this is a, po it's a whole police with gun, everything, you know, bulletproof vest. She said, she likes it. Woman. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I've been, I've been telling she's, you, she's, man. Subhanallah, she's a woman. No, no, that's not about liking. Man. It's like, but, I, but, look, but, look, but, okay, but, look, I'm be honest. I'm scared if I shoot my shot, she gonna shoot me. <laughs> I think if I shoot my shot, I'm gonna get shot. <laughs> oh, man. George Floyd. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, man. That's it? That was part, part three? <laughs> That, that that's part three random. Uh, if there's any other update, like next time when like, it happens, like, text, like, me, text me real quick. Yeah, if it's marriage or anything, I'll let you I'll let you guys. Next time when it happens, text me real I'll quick. let you guys know. So <clears throat> I, I I need to look for fatwa. Can you marry a bullies? A bullies? No, no, no. Can you marry the bullies? Bullies. No, listen, next time it happens, you text me real quick. Okay. If I'm around that area, I'll just stop by and just watch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, no. I'm gonna even videotape it. Let's L move on. <laughs> For real, man. I'll move on, inshallah. Yeah. What's popping? What's popping is <clears throat> el topic. I don't even know what the topic is. What's the topic? <laughs> <laughs> What's the topic? <laughs> What's the topic? The topic is pro life. It's not pro life. It ain't? Right? We changed it? No, it's just called pro life is what? No, pro life, not necessarily. No, pro life may not include your life. Yeah. Okay, now now you, you read something about the uh, the Catholic guy. This has, well, the, this has to do the, with the, that. The movement started like in the 70s after the so-called sexual revolution. Oh, yeah. So the Catholics... Uh, the, the what revolution? Subhanallah. Huh? What, what? Sexual revolution. Oh, yeah. This is the best movement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So they basically started this to kind of, you know, uh, you know, fight against the abortion stuff. So yeah. since the 70s. So yeah. it's an organization... And recently in Texas, they somehow, you know, yeah, one with the, the heartbeat of, law. Yeah, yeah, which means after uh, how many weeks? Like six weeks, you cannot abort. Six weeks, 40, 40, 42 days, six weeks. Uh, Muhammad Salam said 40 days. Yeah. Uh, this is, like I say, you know, Islam yeah. is superior. Yeah, you know, you know I, in a way, we kind of said, alhamdulillah, in a way, but not, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. you know, going to that, that system or whatnot. But so so they won now, the Justice Department, the, the Justice Department actually want to fight it or sue them yeah. or go against it, you know. So that's how they started, you know what I mean? So in, in a short time, you can go online and find the history behind it and a couple other uh, confused questions by some of the Christians who are concerned about like, we're saving the, you know, the, the unborn children, but what about the war <coughs> in Afghanistan, different places, stuff like that, you know? They also have a concern for that, like, you know, you save the child here and what about the children overseas? Well, well that, that is the issue. Uh, <clears throat> they were temporarily happy because they passed that heartbeat law that after six weeks you cannot abort, mm -hmm. so you have to abort within under six weeks, which is you're really you're really on the clock because when you finally found out find out you're pregnant, see you, you could all automatically be infringing upon the six weeks, yeah. right? So they say because there's no heartbeat. Now who knew that? Medical medical people knew that, but who knew that? The Rasul Muhammad yeah. knew that. He knew that. He knew that forty days. You know that, yeah. that, 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 that 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 there was there was a difference there. If there's no heartbeat, can you call it life? Yeah. Can you call it life? There's no heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah. If you ain't got no heartbeat, it's not life. No. And it's very really funny because nowadays in in America, yeah. you go to like campuses, college, universities, Ivy League university, and you ask some of these crazy folks, not all of them, and they say that even after nine months, it's not a baby. It's it's a fetus. Wow. What the level of ignorance? So this is the basic biology one on one elementary yeah, school. Yeah, because ba babies come out after five months, after six months, yeah. and, and they actually get incubated and they actually survive. And yeah. um, uh, our oldest brother, blood brother, mm -hmm. our oldest brother, mm -hmm. Alvin, he uh, uh, was a preemie, you know? He's preemie, preemie. He was really small. He's the biggest one in the family right now. Yeah. So, so I mean, he actually lived. I mean, there, there were some preemies you could put in the palm of your hand. They actually live. So that six weeks, that 40 days, Islamically is very significant, you know. This child could actually thrive and live. I'm not saying a child born after six weeks can <laughs> go to an adult or, or even come out, you know, uh, and function inside of an incubator and grow from there. No, no it, it takes long. The gestation takes longer. 
yeah. uh, for a child to actually be able to fend on its own. You know, my, my, my daughter, <clears throat> my daughter was preemie, uh, and and that that affected a lot of things with her. You know, she she's super smart, everything, very healthy. You know, got the little baby muscles. You know, you know, and mm-hmm. she, she's a beautiful little girl. But you know that that had some effect on her because she, a gestation, she didn't go through full gestation period. You know, so that's what happened. But ne- nevertheless, topic pro life may not include your life, as like the brother mentioned, like these people pushing. And uh, let me go back. Mm-hmm. The uh. They were happy with the with the Texas heartbeat law and the uh, moratorium on abortions after mm-hmm. six weeks. They were happy with that, yeah. but but they stated for themselves that that's not our end game. That's not our goal. Our goal is to have zero abortion. There'll be no Planned Parenthood, no this, no that. You know, and and that that's their goal. So we understand what their goal is. Uh, we're not necessarily opposed to their goal. Yeah. We're not necessarily any, we're pro Islam. So yeah. whatever Islam says, that's what we're pro. We're not going to follow any of these organizations. We're not going to march with them. We're not going to do anything because there there's an agenda behind that agenda. Now, I know the Muslims. They 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 just they feel like they can jump in to a LBGT like you know like a uh, like, yeah. Like, but, but if you think, you're right, but if you think about, it, I mean, look, Christian fought this in a way they kind of won, right? Muslim didn't even talk about this stuff. No. They scared to talk about that Islam is haram to do that. When I was in college, mm. we had a class called Opposing Views. So you have like the pro, uh, pro life. What is it? The pro choice and the pro life, yeah. right? So they argue who is with pro life and who's with pro choice. So when he came to me, I said I'm neither. Mm-hmm. That's what do you mean? I said, well, I'm Muslim. I have a different concept. Yeah. yeah. Right. And I'm and also told in the class, of course, they didn't like my answer, but the teacher actually loved it because she's like, hey, this is a different perspective. Never heard of it. Keep going on, right? Yeah. And I said the issue is not the pro-choice and the pro-life. The issue is like your lifestyle is messed up, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. You fornicate like it's, uh, you know, changing yeah. underwear. Yeah. You, you love that lifestyle, just like alcohol. Even though the, the lot of accident, like I think like 40% of the car accidents is because of alcohol. You love it. You still drink it. You you still see the the statistic, like yeah. how dangerous it is. Not just well, an accident. We're talking about 40% de- deadly. Yeah, deadly, yeah. Uh, of deadly, not, right. not just accident, but deadly because... Uh, I- imagine how we stop all of yeah. a sudden. We we swerve all yeah. of a sudden when we we're co- cognizant. Yeah. But when you're inebriated, yep. you you don't have the same. Exactly. You know, so so take the, that example. So I basically said the lifestyle that yeah. this open promiscuity and whatnot and yeah. irresponsibility and accountability. And I even told some of the women. I said you guys are actually been fooled because the same abortion law was actually also kind of pushed by men. So yeah. when they have sex with you. Okay, and you have a baby and you abort the baby, who's not responsible? The guy. So he's yeah. actually happy that I'm not going to take care of the kid okay. because I'm free. Yeah. Do you see what's happening? So that's why I said I'm pro-Islam. I'm not either either or. Even the Islam says, you know, the 40-day the thing. Yeah. But before that, why why did you get pregnant? Right? Or oh, then they say the rape. I mean, come on. Statistically, when you do the math, most of the people that go to the abortion clinic, they're not even raped. Most of them. This is oh, what oh, I... That's, that's 99 yeah. point whatever. Yeah. It's, it's very few. I yeah. mean, there, there are... Grapes, yeah, you know, I don't know if you can say it, yeah, but, but anyway, there are G, G rapes, yeah. you know. Uh, we're not ignoring though, that's a different issue, yeah, we can yeah. talk about it, but we're that, not that, yeah. that, that is you know, those things are happening. Uh, there are many different scenarios where uh, it, it's, it's rape after the fact, mm-hmm. you know, like everything was consensual, all of a sudden, you know, I'm pregnant, I don't want the baby, rape, you know, or or, or you know. High school boyfriend girlfriend, uh, he's going off to college. Hey, look, I don't want to loan this relationship. Let's go and break up now. Yeah. Oh, you're breaking up with me, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, nowadays, I'm not making this up. This is real life. This is real life. So it's not hypothetical. This is real life. So anyway, what is the? There's a term I learned the other day called the stall thing. Stealthing. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So this is a. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know this. Like basically, somebody having a sex and they didn't release or their condom came out or whatever. The woman can charge you for rape. Yeah. If, if, yeah, if the condom come off, you know. Something like, I'm like oh, without consent, all oh, this crazy men, you really. Well, well, remember, remember the, the other rape. The other rape is, I'm a lawyer, let's go have sex. Yeah. And she says, oh, you're a lawyer? Let's go have sex. And <laughs> after he go, oh. Then, then, <laughs> then, then he's like, he's like, oh, by the way, I am not a lawyer. Great, yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, that you actually can file charges if he's not a lawyer. Yeah. So what that means is that she was a prostitute. So it, it, why why can't the state file prostitution charges? Because yeah. she had relations with him based on his income. Yeah, and that's why right that's now called prostitution. That's why right now, statistically in America, there's a lot of virgin males. 
yeah. <laughs> they don't want to go into the risk right yeah. uh, in fact i was watching this uh you know the king of simp uh what's his name dr phil yeah. that he had uh dr uh warren uh farrell and some other folks and he had a with this one guy he used to have like a i don't know how many thousands of acres of land he was you know he was raised like a cowboy cowboy, cowboy and he was very really well yeah. established and the girlfriend accused him of rape he lost everything yeah yeah so that's what I'm saying here in the West and in, in the West in general right now, or in America specifically, you have this something called the gynocentric society, which, which means believe woman, every, anything woman says. So you're going to be guilty before when you're guilty, you, you, you're innocent until proven guilty, right? Nowadays, you don't have that, yeah. right? I mean, in fact, Brother Daniel Mashallah wrote that article about the, the organization called FACE, like this Muslim owned whatever that attacking some so called imam, so called exposing them yeah. under the same pretext. Make sense? So, so when you say that uh, pro-life may not include your life, these people that are pro-life, that they, they are totally against abortion. They say the fetus has a right to, to live. The fetus didn't, didn't have didn't, didn't ask to be conceived. Uh, so let it go full term. Give it to somebody that may want it. Uh, you know, and, and a lot, a lot of these child yeah. trafficker uh, pedo, pedos, they'll want it. They'll really, really want it. You know, they do a baby so they, so they could, they could, uh, you know, yeah, man. What, what, what do you call that? Groom it. They can groom that baby. You know, like 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 Woody Allen groomed his uh, adopted daughter. He adopted that uh, Vietnamese girl, that Asian girl, whatever she is, yeah. and he groomed her. And when she got of a certain age, he married her. That's white privilege. That's white privilege. Because imagine Bill Cosby doing something like that. Imagine R. Kelly doing something like that. Matter of fact, R. Kelly married Aaliyah when she was Islamically of age. You know, he married Aaliyah, married her, and and they trying to they, they trying to yeah. He I didn't try, know that. They trying to yeah, they trying to convict him of that. Yeah, yeah, she married her. They, they had some people do the ceremony, and they they trying to say that the ceremony wasn't, wasn't legitimate and whatever. Well, who's legitimate? I mean, I was recently married. What's her name? Fifteen years when she was fifteen. Bro, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's no, all... no, she was younger than that. Yeah, okay. he, was, he was messing with her younger than that. The parents basically gave her away. No, Priscilla, nobody throw yeah. a fit. Yeah, no, no, of course not. White privilege. <laughs> He ain't nothing but a, anyway. So, so, uh, <laughs> right. so the issue is, like I say, pro life may not include your life. They're, they're just saying the fetus have a right to live, or uh, 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 the fetus have a choice. I guess I don't know what they're trying to say. Fetus. <laughs> they're trying to say, ask the fetus. Put the microphone. Hey, yeah. fetus, what like, you got to say? Like how Rakesh was yeah. saying, fetus. Yeah. So anyway, with that being said, these same people don't care about already born children being slaughtered and cluster bombed. And, and thrown in cages in Iraq and Afghanistan, and Pakistan, so on and so forth. They don't care about none of that. And, and, and uh, also in uh, Guantanamo Bay. They don't care about none of that. They talk about the fetus in the womb, okay? Now, if this is going to be a free country, quote unquote free, right? If it's going to be pro, uh, uh, if it's going to be free, got to be pro choice. You know, you can't say I'm pro life and then you compel somebody else because, see, that contradicts freedom. Of course, we know the country's not free. Mankind cannot live in freedom. is not a human concept. This this is a godly thing. Yeah, because okay? this when, is because, not a human concept. Because when man legislate, guess what? Our we are not complete in our so called mind capacity. Like course, we are flawed. So if if we are flawed by nature, our laws going to be flawed. Did, did you know legislation where justice is ghaib means beyond beyond man's mind to yeah. comprehend? Yeah. Just, just like like we comprehend the justice that Allah revealed. Yeah. That's why we can implement it. I'm talking about that you originate justice, that you originate uh It's uh, impossible rules. because one yeah, one it, man's justice is, is another man's oppression. Exactly, exactly. You know? So so when people say we are pro life, pro life, pro life, I, I say then why don't you protest uh the, the, the why don't why don't you also go to the prison and, and, and protest death row? That's life. That's life. Well, they killed somebody. I'm saying, no, no, no. It's still life. You can't be pro-life. I think you have to change the term from pro-life to pro-unborn, <laughs> pro-fetus. No, seriously, I think they have yeah. to change that. Then it'd be very specific. Yeah, pro-zygo. You know, yeah, think no, about it. I, I, I don't, I don't know what would they call it though. What would they call it? Because, um, they pro-life is hypocritical because they're not pro all life. Yeah, they 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 pro the voiceless life, okay. Now they say, well, we're pro voiceless life, which is you know the, the fetus in the womb, okay. Did you did you talk to the children of Pakistan? Did you talk to the children of <clears throat> Afghanistan? You know, the Indians are killing the the, the Muslims in uh, uh in in Kashmir and everywhere, right? Okay, 
Did you talk to them? Did you talk to those kids? Did you talk to the kids of Afghanistan? Did you talk yeah. to uh, the kids of Burma and what have you? Did that, you talk to them? That's what I think. They have to change the word because just yeah. like the, just like the football, it's not a football. Yeah, <laughs> right. Well, American football. Is yeah, not football, so, yeah. So, but yeah. I, I noticed that in 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 American culture, a lot of terms, like it, it's not what it means. It's like the opposite of what they mean. No, it, it means because they have military. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you got, if you got military, words gonna mean what they. <laughs> you know, okay, and people words don't notice mean, it. Uh, yeah, like with this yeah. pro life, they okay, you make yeah. sense. Yeah. But if they call maybe, uh, you know, pro unborn, okay, th then you're very specific. Okay, yeah, yeah. then I understand. Okay, then, but when you make a big claim, maybe you have to look at every uh, aspect. Uh, okay, another aspect of pro life. Do they also advocate that mothers who drink, smoke, live unhealthy lifestyles, uh, ride motorcycles, uh, that lose their baby due to speeding, mothers that are in gangs that happen to be pregnant and they get shot in the stomach, or, or, they, or they, they, they associate with gang members and, and, the, and the boyfriend gets their house shot up so the bullet hits the, the belly. Do they advocate these mothers go to prison? I don't know. We can, I mean, because that, that we can look into it. That's considered pro life. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to be pro everything that's going on in here. Yeah. You got to be anti pork. You know what I'm saying? You got to be anti vax because uh, the the the, uh, the guy that engineered that the the, the vaccine. For, yeah, for Doctor. COVID, uh, what's his name? Yeah, the one that engineered the vaccine for COVID say that some of the side effects are, 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 are birth defects. You know what I'm saying? Some oh, of the side effects of, of, of COVID vac the, the, the vaccine is birth defects. He said it, okay? And I know y'all say follow the science, follow the, follow the Fauci. It's not follow the science, it's follow the Fauci. Because this guy is not a fan of Fauci. He is not a fan of Fauci, and he, he originated uh, uh, that, that uh, yeah, the, Dr. The Robert, mRNA. The Dr. mRNA, yeah. yeah. So you can check out yeah. Dr. Uh, Robert Malone. Yeah, okay. Dr. Rob Malone from the Jimmy Dore Show. Yeah, he, was on, to, he was on the Jimmy Dore Show. Yeah. And I mean, this this is this is oh man, this this is so much good information. I, mean, I think he won prizes. I don't know some sort of prize. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's a, so he he's done invented the, the yeah. mRNA. He he engineered it. Engineered, yeah. What they're using, you know what I'm saying, to treat COVID, he engineered that process. Yeah. But he's saying that process is not meant to. <laughs> he say everybody should not be vaccinated. Yeah, that's what he said. He say that's how new strains. They, they mutate and mu new strains are yeah. developed because everybody's vac vaccinated. Now they got something that the vaccine can't touch. Now they got to do a new vaccine, new vaccine. He said you vaccine, you vaccinate just those people that really need it. And, and like like you say, in Europe, 16 and under, they don't get it. Yeah. And, and in some other places, 12 and under, they don't get it. You know I'm saying like, yeah. and they cool with that. They cool with that, That uh, like in Japan, yeah. they cool with that because their medical community is actually scientists. Yeah, <clears throat> they're, they're not politically motivated like they are here. You know what I'm saying, you know, Fauci had something to do with, with it going from, you know, animal to to human. Also, you you watch uh, Jimmy Kimmel show, uh, the Late Show uh, with with, uh, with with Fallon. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying, if you watch these shows, these shows are all torn the line. They're calling calling ivermectin horse horse worm dewormer horse paste. When this doctor clearly said that yes, they got they got ivermectin for animals because because the COVID started it originated with animals. It's common with animals. What, what farmers know about COVID way before we even heard about it. Farmers and ranchers know about COVID. Okay, yeah. he said there's an ivermectin for humans though. There's an ivermectin for yeah. humans, but but who who's saying that? He's the first guy I heard say that. Out of all the stuff I listen to, all the stuff I read, all the stuff I watch, he's the first guy to say, this is making it for humans. Why do they keep vilifying this yeah. thing that actually works? And he even said a lot of physicians... It actually <clears throat> works. He said, excuse me, a lot of physicians used it. They use yeah. it overseas. It's it. working. Yeah. And he, he also said that there are, also, there are also alternative ways of, you know, getting rid of the virus. It doesn't yeah. have to be vaccine. Yeah. Exactly. It could be natural yeah. stuff. It could be vitamins. It could yep. be other stuff. But when you just force everybody to take one thing... Yeah. You know, it's crazy, man, because people, again, don't read for themselves. They don't think because, you know, uh, researching and studying, asking out a question hurts your mind, right? So it's like a workout. You don't want to work out. So you just take the easy route. So I would say that if you're pro-life, <clears throat> you listen to that doctor, you may be anti-vax. Because he's saying that one of the one of the side effects of this MR, mRNA yeah. is that it may cause or does cause birth defects. He said the government... Uh, the government originally came out and said, there's no side effects. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. There's no side effects. Like, how could you possibly know? Where are the trials? Well, like I said, the government even said they're not going to mandate. Yeah. In a few weeks now, they're mandating. I'm oh, like, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. Uh, the typical, you know? Yeah, it, it, there, there's there's a lot of money to be made. So you got to... I mean, Pfizer know. Pfizer yeah. made like what, a couple of 38-something billion. Yeah. And it, the thing is, if you go to uh, USA Today, I think 2017, there's a full, mm. huge, big article talks about the CDC and their uh, hidden labs and lawsuit and a lot of like a, like a horror movie. Like this is this is from the USA Today. Go back in 2017, you can see the full article with all the crazy stuff that they do, okay? Yeah. Then Johnson & Johnson, all these big companies, they were sued many times. Not just once. I mean, if it was, I understand maybe some... For baby powder. Yeah. There were a lot of baby powder lawsuits. They, they that, that stuff was causing deformities. And all they, kind of they, stuff. they went through a lot of losses. So why would you trust a company that has a lot of negative background? Yeah. You know what I mean? He said, he said negative, not negative. <laughs> I want y'all to... You know, negative. Negative. Yes. So anyway, yeah. So yeah, negative. Uh, <laughs> negative. That, 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 that's what we're dealing with. So yeah. pro-life may not necessarily include, include your life. These people are specifically dealing with what's in a person's womb. Now, we know the woman has so... Uh, Soul authority on whether she she may not have soul authority over whether she conceives or not. That's by a law, okay? Uh, but she has soul authority over whether or not that baby goes to term. You know what I'm saying? Now, now for law wills, that baby won't go to term. But we're saying, like, that no baby is born without a consent of a woman. No woman is forced to have a baby. Now, if let, let's say there's an anecdotal incident where someone was in a in a cage, locked up in some white person's basement, you know. <laughs> Because that, that that's the one. Yeah, yeah that's, so, 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 that movie. Don't yeah, breathe, it's a good movie. Yeah, so, so let's say that happens and then she's forced to have the baby. Other than that anecdotal <clears throat> what thing, you know, that, that 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, point, you know, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, thing, uh, in general, most of the time, 99.9999999, you know, women are, are the commanders or the captains of their own destiny, you know. When it comes to having, you know, giving birth to a child, no child is born without a woman's consent, generally. So, if that be the case, then uh, what about her life? What about her quality of life? She's saying, "Look, I don't want a baby right now. Carry it the full term. I don't want to go through the pains. I don't want the stretch marks. I don't want this. I don't want that." What about her life? You know what I'm saying so. Pro life is dealing specifically with that growing entity in the womb, right? That's pro life. If you're outside the womb. You know what I'm saying? It's anti you. If you are brown, if you are Muslim, if you are dark, you know, <laughs> you know, it's it's not pro you. you know what I'm saying? And and that Catholic priest, he answered that question. What did he say? He said, mm -hmm. War, they say, well, how can you be pro life and pro war at the same time? Is it possible to be pro life and pro war at the same time? He said, see, war is different. War is divine and all this authority. type of stuff. Yeah, divine authority. Like so Biden is a divine authority. He touches children. You know what I'm saying? But this article was written in like but, 20, but, 2011. But, but he divinely touches children. Yeah, so this is a question. Uh, yeah, but 2011 is yesterday. Yeah. You know, historically, that's yesterday. Yeah, so this one Christian guy was saying that is it possible to be pro-life or pro-war at the same time? I'm Christian. I'm a strong uh, pro-lifer. And I, I've wrestled with this issue many times in my mind over the past several years. Yep. But the the biblical command is clear. Those shall not kill, you know. So basically, yeah. he's whatever whoever answered whether a priest or he said to him, "Killing is killing," you know. Yeah. And 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 the the, the priest is saying what the priest is saying. Well, you know, war is different. War yeah. is is divine and all this kind of stuff. And he quotes how you know God told uh, armies to go into villages and kill everybody. It's crazy. It's crazy how in Islam, you know, the fruit trees are protected. You know, we're not allowed to burn down just just randomly burn down forests and things like that. Uh, as a war tactic and things like that, we can't fight people that are in protected protected sanctities like inside churches unless they're shooting from the church. Uh, people of the cloth, you know, religious so-called religious people of garb, nuns, priests, they, they're monks. They're they are not attacked. Rabbis, they are not attacked. Uh, these people are recognized as neutral. They don't, they don't we don't fight them. Yeah. If, uh, you don't you don't fight women. You don't kill children. You don't kill elderly. That type of thing. But guess what? In the Bible, it's a God sent an army told them to kill everything, kill women, kill men, kill the elderly, kill children, kill donkeys, chickens. 
That's what the Bible says. It's the Bible. Yeah, he was talking, he God was, sent them to do that. He was talking about just war, but you have to yeah. define what is a just war. Yeah. You know? Because in Islam, when, it, when the war happens between like army to army, yeah. one of the conditions, you know, don't touch the children, the women, the yeah, elderly. Course, don't yeah. even destroy the the, the church, the synagogues, yeah, and the crops, yeah, and the yeah, place of worship, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah. And, and like I say, they, you don't you don't have a. Uh, they'll blow up a masjid and say they were shooting from the masjid. You know, well. I don't know if I really believe that. I don't know if I really believe that because it comes from the the most lionist people, <laughs> the most yeah. you know, the most uh, and the disingenuous question, yeah, people. And, and the question from this Christian dude, I mean, it was legit. I don't know if yeah. it's a dude or a girl, but he said he was struggling. He's struggling with yeah. that. You know, how can you be pro life and pro war at the same time? Yeah. And, and basically, remember, remember back doing, you know, probably and, probably and, still that way. In, in and not just that, he even mentioned like, what's the different? Uh, what difference does it make? Mm. Whether a child is destroyed on the table of an abortion clinic, or as a result of a U.S. airstrike in Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah. I guess when the yeah. when did the when the Afghanistan was it? No, that was in uh, when, when they first went. Oh yeah, that was in, in two thousand two. Yeah. Well, so, well, well, yeah, yeah, because because. Yeah. Uh, but this was in two thousand eleven. So, so that, that's a valid question. Actually, that's a very valid question. I mean, yeah. there's a the inner, you know, the the what do you call it? The inner human is coming out, like seeing the contradiction. So so. To, to 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 bring it in and to wrap it up really is 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 Muslims need to understand that yes we uh we find some similarity between the heartbeat law in Islam we find some similarity uh we 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 would we we love uh you know the children and yeah. things like that and and we want to be pro pro life or whatever but but life is beyond life is not just in the womb life is in society like life is in people people that don't look like you, people that don't speak your language, those people have life too. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you can't be one of those people gung-ho supporting uh, these corporate, corporate corporation laws, I mean, corporate wars, basically, uh, you know, uh, for the for the almighty dollar to make the almighty dollar strong because it has nothing back in it. it yeah. the, the strength of the dollar is in the strength of the military. Make no mistake about it. The strength of the dollar is in the strength of the military. If America loses military might, People will ignore the dollar like like, like like bad breath. They would ignore the dollar like, I'm not taking that. This is one of the rumors about Saddam. They say Saddam was uh, trading uh, all for euros. Mm -hmm. They say he was going, they say <clears throat> Saddam was planning to abandon the dollar altogether. This is why, even though Madeleine Albright said Saddam is in the box, you should not attack him. He's useful where he is. Saddam, he's a boogeyman. He got Saudi scared, got Kuwait scared. He's the boogeyman. Leave, you know, he even got you know some, some way to control Israel you know, at a certain part, you know, to, to, to intimidate them. They were using Saddam for all of that, uh, but they say when Saddam started, you know, trading all for euros, and he he saw the benefit in going full euro. They say this is one of the reasons, and I don't know if this is exactly true. I mean, there's some CSI unit that know better than I do, but I heard this from you know. Some people that have political knowledge. Yeah, and there's another video I would highly recommend everybody to watch. It's from the channel called uh, Rebel Wisdom. <clears throat> okay, so this is a, an interview with uh, the author or the journalist uh, Tom O'Neill. Tom, Tom O'Neill. He Tom was in the Joe Rogan show yeah. a while back. So it's about the the Marilyn Man Manson, Manson, right? Yeah. And the Secret War of the '60s. So he talks about Marilyn Manson that happened here in the state and how the CIA was actually part of the. Some of the crazy agendas, you know. Yeah, yeah. So hey, read this stuff. I mean, these are all facts. I mean, they basically he basically put all the papers, all the documents, you know, that you can find, right? Yeah. But guess what? Sometimes they they actually under the so called Freedom of Information Act, yeah. you can find all this information available. Now, isn't it sometimes it's didactic? Can they say it's a security concern? Yeah, yeah, they had, but it's available, right? But one one would ask like, why would they allow it? Well, because the majority not gonna read. It's like a desynthesization, yeah. you know what I mean? And, and, and if there's something really critical, they're going to deduct it. You'll see like a black yeah. marker right right through it, and you'll never get the information. There's, there's papers they released. You see a date, you see a name, and it's all blacked out. Yeah, you you can see WikiLeaks has a lot of stuff yeah, in WikiLeaks. Yeah, so that's, that's probably Those why. stuff that like wasn't even redacted. We can see everything yeah, there. Yeah, so. You know, it's so-called free, freedom of speech, right? Then yeah. how come uh, you making Assange suffer and... Uh, the other guy was his name Manning, whatever in jail, and yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's just so kind of so much contradiction, man. In reality, it's like the system uh, you promote it when it benefits you. Yeah, 
I think the jump foo is here. You see? The jump foo. Uh, I, 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 I feel it. You gonna let him in? No, let him just keep knocking like that. Is he knocking? I don't know. Maybe he'll knock. Did he text you? Yeah. Gonna let him in. All right. So, what's the next thing? Shaking my Muslim head. Shaking my Muslim head. All right. Well, for this one, I'm going to show you a bitcher. <laughs> I am surah. going to show you the Bichar Surah. Ooh, look at that. There has to be music, dude. Ooh, yeah. Ooh look at that. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Listen to it, baby. Here we go. Right here. Okay. Oh, okay. This, this right here is a picture of the guy, El Guy, is back. doing uh, oh, El, uh, very good. Nice. El Salat. Yeah, that's a nice El, camera, man. Look El, at that. El Guy is doing El Salat. It says rich. Is that a chain? Is that a chain? It says rich on the oh, chain. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's a... Uh, bling, bling. Uh, yeah, that's a... Uh, yeah, my fingernail's dirty. <laughs> you know, that's a nice camera man yeah. it's everything. I, I, I was working on the roof and uh, yeah, yeah, whatever excuses whatever. Ex excuses. excuses anyway so uh, this right here is uh, the guy calls himself uh, King Cloth King's Cloth I think he sells clo clothes King's Cloth it's another name he had too it's uh, it's called Yanni something anyway so um, Fulan anyway so so uh, He's praying on a Louis Vuitton. So some people say it better than me. Louis Vuitton rug. He has Louis Vuitton luggage stacked in the back. He has this silly clown suit on as Louis Vuitton. Yeah, it is clearly a clown suit. That is an ugly piece of... It's really ugly. I could see a female wearing something like that. You know? It's more like a kid's show or something. I, I don't even see a child. It's too much. Yeah, just, it's, maybe if the maybe if, if it was just the top and the bottom was is, is he praying? You know, so a distraction. Well, well, okay, <laughs> it, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, you, you why can, he took the pick? You, you can pray like that because distraction. Well, it's 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 it's, it's all wrong. It's called Aria. 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 Yeah. It, it, it's it's uh, a small shirk, by the way. Well, what, what, people call it shirk El Asgar, right? Yeah. They say it's a minor shirk. It's what they call it. It's shirk, okay? When you pray and show out, you are depleting your salat of blessing, okay? Allah Ta'ala does not allow dual intentions. You know what I'm saying? So if you're praying, as, as Allah Ta'ala says in one hadith, that if you do something, hadith Qudsi, if you do something for Allah, and you do something, I think it's a hadith, maybe just a hadith. Which but one? If you do something for Allah, and do something for for some someone else. Allah will leave that thing you did for the other thing. Allah doesn't share like that. You know what I'm saying so. Uh, you're praying. It's a photo op. Some people say, "Well, you don't know if if at least, at least he's praying." I say, "How do you know he prays?" Well, he's praying in the picture. No, you see a photo op. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, you see a photo op. You don't see prayer. You see a, a jalsa. You see jalsa, right? You see the sitting. And you say, well, he is uh, praying. You don't know if he's praying, but you know it's a photo op. Who takes pictures of themselves praying? There is a certain mentality. There's a certain mentality that takes pictures of themselves while praying. It's called Ariya, okay? This is not allowed in Islam. I know you say, oh, it's just minor shirt. So you're cool with shirt. Yeah. So you cool with shirt? You cool with shirt? Who's, who's cool with shirt? Because because one, one brother said, "Oh, this is just minor shirt." Well, that means oh. you. That, that, that means you're cool with shirt. That, I mean, oh, shirt is. Uh, shirt is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Shirt is what it is. It associates partners with Allah Taala. Your salat supposed to be for Allah Taala. Yeah. Well, what does the ayah say? My my my, my sacrifice, my salat, my, uh, my my. In the salat you. Uh, what is it? Nusuki, what is it? Uh, yeah, Nusuki, well, my, my, mati, uh, yeah. My, my, my life, my death, my, my, my salat, all is for Allah Ta'ala. That's, that's, what, that's what the ayah says. Uh, so you are praying for the gram because there's a lot of pictures on Instagram. He actually sells clothes and sells this thing. He called it King Cloth, and his name is something. I forgot his name. Anyway, so it's clearly showing off. It's clearly shirk. You say minor shirk, and that makes it palatable for you, okay? You know, if I call you minor gay, would you like it? You know, if I say, oh, that brother's minor gay, you know, not this brother, but, the, you know, I say one of you brothers are minor gay, you wouldn't like it. <laughs> but but if you say minor shirk, you cool with it because the shirk is being done in violation of Allah Ta'ala's law. 
Nevertheless, whatever you say about this guy, or at least he prays, at least this, at least that, I don't see him praying. I see a position of prayer. I see a photo op. They're, if you look on his page, there's a dude, dudes, they, they dressed up and they doing like, they doing kunut and like, come on, man. And that just that, that, that if you understand the definition of riya, yeah, from the Arabic point of uh, definition and from the Islamic definition, yeah. it actually means to show off, means yeah, yeah, yeah. to act in But How do you know he's showing off? You know, to act in ibadah. How do you know he's showing off? Well, in social media, you're not, you're not gonna post something except for a reason. Like, what is the purpose of that, right? I, I, <laughs> he walked into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I, I, the I, way? Said, I, I said, I said, he's doing it for clout. You know, he's doing it no, for clout. Me, look, look, look. And, and, and they said, how do you know it's for clout? Like, he took a picture of his self making salat. Right. And it's different positions. I've been praying for 31 years. There's not a time that I stop praying. Look. There's not a time that I stop praying. I have not prayed in a photo. Yeah. And it, and, and it also involves the um, ibadat. Yeah, it's okay? ibadat, clear. So it says here, uh, for example, But yeah. his intention is for people. what people going to say. For example, yeah. uh, So he extend the salah longer so people oh, can yeah. see him, right? Oh, he recited the Quran so beautifully, loudly, right? right? Well, uh, so when people say, "Oh, mashallah, great!" Right? So these are some of the some of the signs of uh, a riyah. Of course, we don't in the heart, but yeah. but in social media, when you post something, there's a reason behind it. Like, why are yeah. you posting this? But bro, bro, guess what? You won't believe it. What is it? They say I'm backbiting. How is that backbiting? That's a public picture, and you're pointing he, it out. He posted the picture for yeah. everybody to see. He has hundred. Look, we were scrolling through the pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was too many. I quit. <laughs> right. I was scrolling through. I actually quit. Got a as well. It's it's pictures. It's picture, picture, yeah, yeah. picture, 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 picture uh, 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 of just different outfits and you know doing doing this and and jalsa and sajda. You know, you know, and, I, I don't want to disrespect on, disrespect our brother and sister, but honestly, if you look at a picture like this and you click like, you say this is amazing. With all, with all due respect, you are very simple minded. What what the idiots? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you can be a Muslim and an idiot. You can yeah. be a Muslim and a coward. You can be a Muslim and a thief, but you can't be a Muslim and a liar. Yeah. And if you look at this picture and you don't see showing off, and plus all these brands, like the Louis Vuitton, all these, this, this is idolatry itself. Yeah, because these this these, is idolatry. These companies you're draping yourself in a kafir's name and you're making salat. That's what you're doing. Hey, what happened to your uh, your ulama when they say do not imitate the kuffar? Right? What happened to that? Oh no, they don't care about that. <laughs> And they talk about I'm backbiting him, and their ulema talk about other ulema. Backbiting, so backbiting. Don't take from this person. He's a deviant. He's evil khawarij. Brothers call me a deviant khawarij because I call this showing off. Maybe maybe he's new. Maybe he's new to the that that that, that haraka, right? Because ghiba basically means telling somebody without the person's yeah. presence. If he left a comment in his page, he's present. Yeah, yeah. He's there. He's not behind. Yeah. That's not ghiba. You basically just you know pointing pointing the fact. You know why you have to get butt hurt. Get what, 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 guess what? Ask your ulema. Ask them what are the five, I think it's five categories. I could be wrong about the number. There's, there's a category of people that riba does not apply to. Uh, Look in marriage? Seven? 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 Uh, it's, it's, uh, it, it's, it's riba does not, no, no. We're not talking about the times you, you can, you could, uh, make, you can backbite. We're not talking about those times like public fear, mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to somebody asking about marriage. Uh, uh, what, what is another one? Uh, basically, you can speak ill of somebody in their absence. We're talking about the the types of people that riba does not apply to. You know what I'm saying, okay. Like, like for instance, you can't backbite a kafir. Mm -hmm. You can't backbite uh, an open sinner. Like, don't, don't, backbite doesn't pertain to these people. These people are outside of the protection of la yaktab. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, mm -hmm. you know, these people are outside of that. I'm saying. Mata takun al is uh, six. Six. It's six. Okay. Okay. But guess what? Uh, <clears throat> you'd be surprised. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not talking about the times of uh, that you can make riba. I'm talking about th there's there's certain categories of people that there's no such thing as backbiting them. You know yeah. Saying? But listen here about the riya. Some of the ulama even went further, saying there's like four types. Right. So I'm gonna mention the three, the two actually, two, uh, three and four because it reflects the picture. Because it says here, "Ariyau min jihat libas," 
كمان يلبس ثيابا مرقعه هو ويرز ان يو نو فانسي كلوث ليظهر انه زاهد في الدنيا ذات مينز ذات ذات صوفي وان ذات مينز لكن يا زهد اوكي وكذا او وكذا من يلبس الغليظ والخشن من الثياب ويشمرها كثيرا ليقال العاب يعني ذات صوفي صار لك ذي وير لايك سو بور لك Okay. Yeah, that, that's another one. It's, it's not just wearing fancy clothes, but also wearing really, really raggedy clothes so people feel sorry for you. There's one where they, you wear nice clothes like this so people can praise you, like, like these Muslims are doing, right? Then you wear the, 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 the raggedy clothes. So people say, oh, idiot. Yeah. Oh, I'm so miskeen. Yeah, I'm a yeah. minimalist. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here's another one. Ariya'u min jihat al-badan. Ka al nuhul wal isfirar li yara nas anna sahib ibadah. Aw taswir. To take a picture, be malabus al haram. So I'm in Kaaba, taking a haram and taking a picture, right? Exactly. So the people can see him. Hey, I'm making Umrah. Yeah. I'm making Tawaf. I'm making Ibad. I'm raising my hand. Look at my gold chain. Yes. Look at my cross on my forehead. In the Kaaba, making Tawaf at the cross. Like that. I hate when they put it on Snapchat and say, "Big Umrah." Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. The big. Oh, uh, 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 hashtag. Yeah, uh, yeah. Say, look, look, look. A sister posted today. Yeah. I would like to thank Allah. Go, go, go. Make salat, you. Yeah, why you say it publicly? <laughs> I, 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 I would like to thank Allah. No, she got. I would like to thank Allah. What was that? What was that? What was that? I need to understand that. Can you translate? What was the? I told a Muslim before. I said, I don't think Allah has a Facebook page. No, no, I told him, I told him Muslim sister, I said, why don't you tag it? Actually, look. It's yeah. so stupid. Look, look, it's look, really stupid, look, man. Yeah. Like, make dua. Whatever happened to dua? Why you post your dua? <laughs> oh, Allah, please, the zip, 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 hashtag. What's up? Go ahead. Yeah, same thing people, they post like, oh, like, for example, oh, today we made tahajjud. It's good to make tahajjud. Let's make tahajjud. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, but don't say you did it. Just say, give, give the hadith in the ayah, yeah, yeah, yeah. the benefit of the tahajjud. That's it. Yeah. But to say that, oh, I did tahajjud tonight. Like, yeah. why are you saying it? Who who wants to join me to make tahajjud? Who, who wants to join me for two rakah fajr? <laughs> That's what we're doing, man. That's what we do. I mean, it's like I say, it's it's. I I I I just told I just I just told his brother. So so what happened? The brother called you. He called you uh, uh, a deviant khawarij. Deviant khawarij. Deviant. You deviant. From my understanding, khawarij. from my understanding, only the. The people that uh, that's going to heaven already. Uh, the 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 boot lickers, they are the only one who butt call people. Uh, call, call people he says boot, I say butt. You know, they are the only one who call people hard when you disagree. Oh yeah, yeah. Right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. shows you that what happened to compassion and discussion. He he, he he he's he's posting hadith in meme style, you know, black background, yellow, yellow writing, mm -hmm. and he's posting these hadith and you know, black and red, yellow is really bad combination when yeah, it's yeah, on, on the eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, should yeah. take a lesson from me in yeah, the design, so, maybe. So, 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 so the issue is he's posting these hadith. He's mm -hmm. not even understanding. All these hadith pertain to legitimate leadership. They got bayah. It don't pertain to uh, leaders that that the West put in power over yeah. us. It doesn't pertain to them. Uh, about being bearing with them in patience, even if they beat your back, which means that they pack, yeah. they, they implement the hadood or they take your wealth, which means they extract the zakat by force because you don't want to pay it. That's what that means. The hadith doesn't say if they kill you, if 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 they join the enemies of Islam against you, if they bomb you with the Israeli army and airstrikes. The hadith says none of that. The hadith says if they beat your back, which is which is the hadood, you know, you know a fornication, a theft, you know. But this is nothing. I mean, just, yeah. I told you about the, the podcast where one sheikh said that the, the reason he says the, the birthday is haram because in the Bible mentioned and there's a history. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is that is not the masdar of hukum shari to come yeah. to a conclusion like that, you know? Yes. And he's a sheikh. Oh, but that doesn't yeah. mean he specializes in the area. But then you have these uh, innocent, ignorant Muslims that are like, oh, wow, this is amazing. I'm like, no, it's yeah. not. He, provide, he provided a lot of evidence. No, no, it's a study or deed, man. Yeah. It's ridiculous. They, they don't know what evidence is. But anyway, uh, there is no riba on this individual. He is making Arya. It's clearly right here. Okay. So I'm not making a riba on him. He posted public. You cannot do something public and expect me to keep it private. Especially if, if it's if it's making a mockery of the deen. I see a mockery of my deen. If you don't see it, may Allah grant you. Maybe, maybe he's doing it to sell the cloak. Stop making salat. <laughs> stop, stop stop imitating yeah, salat. Yeah, don't use the deen. Yeah, don't, don't use yeah. the deen to sell. You know, if one brother said, one brother said, oh, well, I put pictures of myself on the ground making salat. Okay, it's two idiots then. <laughs> you make the second idiot. He said, I say, I say, 
Pray tell. Hey, what about those uh, imams that take a video of them making tarawih to record the Quran? That's okay, right? Or no? But, well, I, to, to, to hear the Quran? Yeah, yeah that, that's fine. You know. To hear the Quran. But we're talking about, we're talking about this. Yeah, yeah. He's, if he's selling personal clothes, which he does sell clothes, yeah. if he's selling personal clothes, you know, to people that like to show off, yeah. you know, this kibber, this is like kibber. That's what this is. But, but but yeah. but but check this out though. Yeah. So uh, you see you see. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. There's, there's a lot of there's a lot of attacks. A lot of attacks because people don't see Ari. They don't see it, right? He has he has a gold chain on crusted with diamonds. Says rich. That's what he got on right now. I mean that's fine. I mean that's fine. So you know? I don't know. Look, this is a this is mashallah a convert. I believe long time ago, very well known yeah. company. Shukur. Yeah. Clothing, Islamic clothing. I mean, I, I believe he, mashallah, paid the people that make the clothes for some some of the lease. And he's a he's a background is a fashion designer. Okay. Okay. Good. And mashallah, look, nice very, stuff. Nice stuff. Amazing. Yeah, expensive but mashallah. worth it. You see. Nice. Face yeah. is not shown. Nice, mashallah. Right. Sugar clothing. Look at that. Right. Guess what else? None of them are making salah. Yeah. Look, 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 look. You can still sell. Yeah. Look at that. None of the pictures are making salah. None of them. He wouldn't do that, you know. So look at that. Yeah, none of the pictures are making salah. You know why? Because, in fact, maybe you can tell his brother go to the <laughs> Facebook, sugar clothing. Let's go to the Instagram. Let's see if there's any salah. I don't see any salah. Look at that. Not even face shown. Yeah. These are models that the you know they yeah. paid. But look, look, it's amazing, man. Man, I'm attracted to this clothes. Look at the man clothes. Look at that. Mashallah. See that? Yeah, mashallah. It's nice. It's really nice. It's really nice. See? But 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 like I said. Not not attacking this brother. I'm attacking the action. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm attacking the action. Yeah. Uh, if you like shirk, you know, you like minor shirk, then you know, have fun with minor shirk. I'm gonna avoid it all together. You know, I I don't want to be that individual. You know, that's uh, raised on Yom Kiyama committing a minor shirk. You know, thinking that it was okay to commit shirk, because the ulama stated that if the shaitan can't get you to do haram, he gets you to do a lot of makru stuff. You know. A lot of the makru, right? Yeah. Why? Because makru is is less than the haram, you know. It's less than the haram. Like for instance, uh, uh, touching a woman's hand is not haram. Muhammad some say you rather get poked by a hot fire firebrand or, or hold onto a coal than to shake her hand. But there's there's no hadood for shaking a woman's hand. There's none. It's just saying that it is better not to do it. And and uh, many of the ulema, I, I know y'all don't y'all don't y'all like the ulema. Y'all like names. One brother told me he said. Uh, name your men. I said, I don't have any men. I, <laughs> I said, hey, you ready to come out the closet? I don't understand. You ready to come out the masjid? So anyway, so I'm, I'm like, you said, name your men. You know, I'm like, I don't, I don't name dudes. But but that's like a priesthood mentality. You know, my rabbi, my priest. Yeah. You can't, you can't be that mentality. But but man. but, 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 but guess what the the ulama said uh, about it. I'm hmm. saying, I forgot my point. <laughs> about the shaking? Yeah, but, but anyway, the shaking of the hand, the ulema say it's about the intention. Some ulema say it is not wrong to shake in business. I'm not talking about these modern day guys. I'm not talking about these. The they say in the in the business, if you are shaking the hand, I'm, I'm going to give you the evidence. If you're shaking the hand in the business, they say it's fine. But if you're holding the hand like, oh, mashallah, you're so beautiful. This is a different intention, okay? You're trying to soften her up for zina, whatever you're trying to do, you know? So anyway... But 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 and one, of, likes one, one of the look, evidence. Look at him, look at him. He likes it. One of the like, evidence they like, gave. Oh yeah. <laughs> one of the evidence they gave. They came. They said a woman came to the Rasul Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mm -hmm. and was going to give bayah to the Rasul Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You know, which means take shahada and, and agree not to kill, not to steal, not to fornicate, whatever, right? Uh, so they say that uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explained Islam to her and she withdrew her hand. She said, I have to go do something, O Muhammad, and then I'll return and take my shahada. Because the thing she was going to do, if she took shahada and didn't go do that thing, she'll be making shirk. Because she promised. In, in the, remember the Arabs before Islam were really big on keeping their promises. They don't want to be called liars. They don't want to be called people that fail victory or people that don't they promise and break their promise. They didn't like yeah. that. They didn't like even signs of hypocrites. They didn't like it. So they would keep their word. Their honor meant something. Okay, So... She, she, they say she withdrew her hand from the Rasul. Then she went to go do a thing, came back, and she gave bayah. They don't say she put her hand back out and gave bayah, but it was already implied. Because remember, bayah is anyadin, you know, with the hand, or from the hand, you know, it's from the hand. And the bayah is also in obedience, you know, you give it. Now, Omar, what he would do, he would put his hand in the water, and the woman would put their hand in the water. 
And that was his way of getting bail from them. So what do you say to the people who say uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Nobody can hear you, man. It's mahram to all females. That's not true. That's not true. If he's mahram to all females, then, then, then why did he look at Al-Asma? Why did he turn from Al-Asma? The, 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 the sister of Aisha, Why did he turn away from her when she walked, you know? She turned, he turned away. He said, well, Asma, when a woman makes, you know, becomes pu uh, have puberty, she, she cannot show anything except for this and this. He indicated face and hands. So, you, you, can't, you can't say that to the, about the Rasul. It's, 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 not, it's not Khawasihi. It's not exclusivity to him. This this is a a general rule. So they, you know, so they taught him. Yeah, of course, of course they. Yeah, yeah. Also that uh, you talk about uh, you can uh, you can show your hands or what, what else? Yeah, face? face and hands. Yeah. Except for me. Except for me. What happened? No, this is what uh, that this is what. I'll okay, 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 okay. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, anyway, Jane, man, since I left, every time I leave, they just mess it up. Yeah. I should just stick there. <laughs> So so anyway, so uh, you people that are defending this uh, shirk because you consider it minor or you consider it a riba. You might want to send the message to the brother privately. Like, like, just, no, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> like, no, no. Yeah. Give him a siha, man. Yeah, yeah, bro. I, 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 can't, I cannot be the only one. Yeah. He has hundreds of pictures, bro. I cannot be the only one that saw this. And there's some brothers on, in the comments. You can see that they, they, they know. Agree, right? They understand the thing. You know, uh, it's the ones that's defending. You know, it's the well, ones that are defending. No, no, nowadays, yeah. you've noticed so, that. So, so, so now, I'm going to give him a see how these guys are going to, you know, it, oh, brother, you, you're doing such a good job. It's, it's, it's funny. I think we talked about this before. Like, nowadays, they even attack the nasiha. Yeah, before, course, they don't want to listen, but now they attack it. I mean, I'm telling you, man. Well, uh, of the things they're saying, they're saying that uh, perhaps he's a new Muslim. Okay, wonderful. Then they say, uh, okay, perhaps, no perhaps he's, he's so happy to be a Muslim, he want to show everybody he's Muslim. No, he's actually selling clothes. Yeah. He's selling clothes, you know. It says on his profile. Yeah, yeah, of course. And it's, it's, it's people wearing his clothes that are doing this, <laughs> right? And doing this, yeah, Allah, and Allah, doing Allah. this, and doing this, and, and you know, it's, it's wonderful. You know, you know, just that even in acting, when you act yeah. like in movies, when you act like salah, some actors was like, I, I cannot act as salah. I'm just gonna pray, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you shoot. They always get the wudu wrong. They get the wudu wrong. They get the, <laughs> they get the adhan wrong. Yeah, they they, they get the the you know. Everything wrong. Yeah. No, no. So I heard, I heard that one, wrong. one. Uh, this brother used to work for Hollywood. He said they don't get it wrong. They do it on purpose. Okay, okay. To basically mock the dean. Yeah. Like what? Uh, uh, yeah. Look, 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 look. They're on a plane and they have the subtitles, right? And uh, the Muslim on the plane said, uh, "Alhamdulillah," and, and, and they, they they put Allah be praised. You know what I'm saying they, they put uh, no, no praise be to Allah. Alhamdulillah. No, it, it was Allahu Akbar. Say Allah be praised. Another time they said. Uh, Subhanallah, and and they said uh, God is great. Like it's just it, it purposely just yeah. doing that, you know, because somebody's typing, you know, the closed caption. I mean, they spend a lot of money. Yeah. They're not gonna make yeah. a mistake. So, so Kamran Pasha, he used to work for Hollywood. Yeah. He basically had that interview with Nabil Aziz from Dubai, and he was saying that sometimes they do that on purpose, yeah, just to, just make fun of you. Yeah, because because like I say, they have Muslim advisors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know that like they don't make the wudu credit. They go. <laughs> you know, just just, just like just like the movie wrong. Siege, you know, the movie Siege with Denzel and yeah, yeah. Bruce Willis. A good movie, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, I almost got in trouble in the theater. Why? When that bus blew up. Oh come on! No, 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 no. No, no. I ain't gonna say I'm gonna say that, but come on, man. I almost got in trouble. People are like, <laughs> come on, man. Oh, dude, this guy. You better be glad we cannot fight. You better be glad we're scared of you. <laughs> Oh, you should watch the it's a TV series about the Vikings in the History Channel. The Norsemen, the Norsemen. It's called Some, Norsemen. Or what? Yeah, the guy went inside the in Spain. Yeah. And he got inside the masjid, and we're just amazed by the simplicity. And there's no statue, nothing. Yeah. And when his friend came, he cut the imam's head. Then tried to kill everybody. Then he said, "No, don't kill them." Then one of the brother, one of the Muslims just came in front and continued the salah, something like that. Anyway, historically, that's not accurate. Historically, yeah, it was yeah. the opposite. Historically. When they came to Spain, the Muslim actually fought them and won. Oh, yeah, yeah. But in the movie, they just showed that part and they left. Yeah. Well, you know, Vikings didn't have horns either. So it's oh, all, that's true. They don't, Hollywood they is just, yeah. you know, Hollywood so does. It's an interesting uh, show. I didn't know. I'm like, wow. Anyway, so you Muslims that are defending the circle called Asgar. 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 <laughs> Asgar. What is this? Asgar. It's like a. Asgar. Is, is this like a. Like Ragnarok. <laughs> that's. That's a freaking Thor. 
Oh Ragnarok. That's it, yeah. For, for those of you that are defending the Shirk Ragnarok, <laughs> correct? Okay. So, uh, for you, we are shaking our Muslim head. Anyway, that's all. All right, we'll see you all if, next if, week. If you, if you heard a Saudi voice from the background, <laughs> you have to say it. His name is Junk yeah. Fu. Uh, 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 mm, 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 mm. He'll whoop anybody. One of these days I had to drive on the south side. Just videotape it. Yeah. It'd be yeah. nice. Now my mom had a homies jump on him. Yeah? Yeah. That's how it's going to work. Inshallah. That'd be awesome. Tell All right. videos in him. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This has been Amu Yum Yum, the podcast with Amu Yum Yum and Amu Yusuf. Assalamu alaikum.